with it because guess who's coming home tonight? Not really being vlogging like that, but here we are, bro. Sheesh. Yes, there she is. Going home with me tonight. More on that later. It was cheap. I would say cheap in the sense where like I'm not paying a full price for it. Put the work in, I still make on it, no matter where I put up, put it. Continue on this uh, on my trip here. I can't hold the phone because uh, this thing is a handful to drive. So I'll hit you guys back up when I get home. So I'm making my way to the car. Just got home from work. This is not the same day, of course. But um, I'm gonna show you the new project. And um, let's get into it. There you have it. It's nothing special. It is special, but it's nothing special. It's a V8 V8 uh, Audi S4. I mean, sorry, S5. It's a manual and the bugs making laying eggs already. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I started working on it. It's pretty clean on the inside, to be honest. And that's one of the reasons why I got it. It's a flat tire, of course. The grill is missing. Let's get under the hood. Oh yes. So this is a 4.2 liter um, V8. Got two high pressure fuel pumps. Of course, I removed the air box from here because I wanted to see what I'm working with because when I was at the yard and I started it, it blew off the it, it popped something so I thought I popped the radiator because it overheated but it actually did not it blew off the hose or I'll have it run for a little bit I noticed that the head gasket is blown on it because there was white smoke coming out of the out of the exhaust plan on actually doing some work to it but I wasn't planning on removing the engine to be honest because to remove the end to fix the Blowing head gasket, it's not like 240 where you just pull it off and do the timing in the front, or like the Lexus, you do pull the timing and do it in the front. The timing in this car is actually at the back of the engine, and I wasn't planning for that. And let's go on the inside. All right, so got on the inside here. Don't mind the bag, that's because I'm planning on putting parts in here. The main reason why I got it is a six speed manual, three pedals. So that's the reason why I got it because it has three pedals. I'm sorry, three pedal, three pedal. <laughs> you know, three pedal, three pedal. I, I like three pedals, I'm sorry. I, I just can't help myself. Uh, V8, I think it's 300 worth of hour, V8. All wheel drive, come on. I can't not pass on it because they're very hard to come by. And for me, I like to tinker with stuff. I just hope I don't take as long as that to get this done. I'm just gonna do my best as I try to hold this camera. I bought the car, it was in Denver. If you all know, Denver is like almost on the other side of America. And it says run and drive, but it has mechanical issues. So I looked it up, I researched it. And most of it, I, everyone says, or online was, was main issues going on with these cars, is that the fuel pump, not the fuel pump, the water pump and the thermostat will go bad on these. So 
I wasn't taking account that you know, okay, it's not it's not that bad. If it's a water pump, it's an easy fix. If it's the um, thermostat, it's an easy fix because that's what everybody was saying was wrong with it online. I wasn't taking into account that it could be something even more. And I rolled the dice on it. Apparently, I lost. But anyways, um, so after I got it shipped from Denver here in Orlando I went to the yard where it was and I besides it's running starting uh, running drive so first thing I did was try to get it started I got it started it was running and it sounded like it was missing so I when it started missing I was like okay it sounded like it has misfire no big deal so I started no I noticed that there was cooling on the bottle so I was like all right it sounds like it's miss sound like it's missing. It has coolant here. And then as the car warmed up, it popped. I heard a pop and I right here. And then there was white smoke in the back. So after I saw the white smoke and I saw the pop, I was like, oh heck no. I was kind of pissed. I already lost money already in shipping. So I decided, okay, let's roll the dice again. When I noticed that the the bolt the screws on the coil harness was missing and this hose popped off and the clamp is here and the top gear was missing. The cow was missing. I was like, someone was in here before. Someone was in the engine before, and now I'm kind of like in a dilemma now. What do I do? And the only next best, the only next best thing to do is basically just pull the head. <laughs> so start researching on how to pull the head on the car. Got it home. After I just, after I've seen the reach surge of how to pull the head on the car, I realized there was a big factor. The timing is actually at the back of the engine. Usually you can just go and pull the head off and don't worry about removing the engine from the car, but this one, you have to remove the engine from the car, which explains why Audi always do things engine out. Makes perfect sense, but apparently I missed a part in the forms. <laughs> Yeah, so, and I was like, you know what? Why be a technician or a mechanic if you're gonna run away from things? Like, why always limit yourself? So I decided that's screws. I'm not gonna limit, limit myself. I'm gonna actually build this car. I'm gonna pull this thing and it out and I'm gonna rebuild it. And that's what I decided to do. I got it home and it's now here. And I'm gonna pull this engine out. And I'm gonna do this timing, and I'm gonna do this head. Another thing I'm scared of is that if the head is cracked, because it's aluminum head, aluminum head. So, it's a lot of parts, but we're gonna make it work. We're not gonna cheap out on this and turn on an experience because we are afraid of it, right? If anyone has any advice on how to remove this car, this engine out, let me know. And this way we could actually go for it, or should I say I could go for it and pull it out. I am actually freeing up some space in here by putting the bay back together. And once I put her back together, I should free up some space in here. And then once I get her running, I'm going to roll her out. So I can do the exhaust and the drive shaft out here. And then I'm going to roll this, not roll it, but drive it in because it does drive. I'm gonna drive it in, put it in there, and start ripping the engine out. So stay tuned um, and just update. And that's what's going on in my garage. I should change the channel, right? It should say Roddy's Garage, but I already tried that. Someone already had Roddy's Garage. Put a, put a name in the, in the description, or no, put a name in the comments. What I should change in the channel to, like, what I should add to the channel. So I see you guys. Thank you for watching for my update. Um, and oh, up here, up here, up here, man. And let's get into it. 
see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow me as I build and remove an Audi B8 V8 4.2 S5 all-wheel drive six-speed manual rebuild in my garage not the shop not the dealership where they charge you almost six thousand mm dollars -mm. you're gonna do this in your garage so stay tuned and follow me as i go through this process as the tools come in as i can come in and that way you could actually if you want to in the future and you want to buy one of these cars you guys should do it yourself in your garage and save yourself a ton load of money not a lot of time but money <laughs> stay stay tuned for more stay tuned for more stay tuned for more and i'll see you in the next one subscribe subscribe like peace Morning. Hey, good morning, sir. My name is Austin Minachi. It's Peter Reese. Well, I stopped here. It's going 45 and 30. Is it? Yes, sir. Do you have your license and registration? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was a 35. It's a 30 mile an hour zone, that little stretch. Because it's residential. Gotcha, gotcha. Don't tell me to play like <laughs> Can I see you the other day? Yeah, your registration. Mondays, Mondays are fun. Boss, you just gonna get a chalk warning today. Oh, thank yeah, you, man. Yeah, right. make sure whenever you run one of them earbuds, you gotta have one of the ears free. You yeah. can have both earbuds yeah. in. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. You good, man. Right, you have any you other man. questions? No, that'll be it. Uh, I just didn't notice it was a 30. Yeah, just that little 30. strip from 452 and 44 to this light right here is 30 miles an hour. The rest is 45. Oh, okay. It's just that little area is just 30 miles an hour due to being a residential little area. I got you. I got you. Thank you, man. You're welcome. All right, yeah. have a good one. Really nice guy. But again, I didn't know it was a 35, so. A 30. So. Be respectful. Really good guy. And um, if you don't know, you just don't know. <laughs>